Okay, this is me going full mad scientist. <laughs> I needed this thing to work correctly. Uh, I was having so much trouble lining up the mirrors. So I watched uh, probably 20 hours worth of videos on how to align these things and uh, came up kind of with my own solution based on all of them. I will leave some of them in the description if you guys care to watch uh, how to do this. As you can see, I bought a lot of extra stuff. I have this cloud ray with the air assist on it. Uh, as it had a bigger spot for a lens, I put a 20 inch lens. Seems to have given me a lot more uh, error, room for error. I still have the original here. You can see I replaced the mirrors with the gold ones. Upgraded mirrors, but this is the same uh, mirror holder or whatever they're called. But you can see the one in the back is a new one. Uh, so I bought this whole gold set, but uh, this one wouldn't work because it won't aim to the cloud ray here. It aims to this. But of course, this doesn't fit with this back bracket. So I ended up using little pieces of everything, actually, to make it all come together. And I did. So I, you know, whatever. That's just the way that these K40s are. They're just so much fun to play with. And once you get them right, you have a real good laser. And I'm, I'm going to guess you got to be ready to spend $800 to $1,000 to get it good, you know? And uh, that's just kind of how it is. But for about $1,000, you have a really good laser, arguably better than any diode on the market because you can do acrylic, you've got more power. The only thing is you got the smaller bed size. And you know, I've talked about that a lot in the past. This Two Trees uh, honeycomb bed is fantastic. Really well made, it comes with the uh, metal on the bottom. So I'm really, really happy with this one. I wasn't so happy with my uh, sculpt fin or whatever it was. It was very cheap, but this one is really nice. So it is a little too small. I wish there was one that was like 350 by 350. This one's 300 by 300, but of course that's the bed, not the, the whole thing. So it could stand to be a little bigger but it just doesn't seem like they make them that size. The 400 by 400 actually doesn't fit in here. I have one of those. Um, what else? You can see I've got this makeshift thing going on for my air and my water, just because the thought of me taking this out in the rain, you guys can kind of see what's, what it's like out there. And then it not being done, I, I just wasn't prepared to do that. But you can see I've been doing some cutting I did it from each section of the different uh, of this different board. You can see the kind of the marks here, 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 uh, where I cut it to make sure that it was working in all areas. It seems to be working great. So I felt, yeah, like a mad scientist, you know, doing all this, changing everything. But it feels good in the end when it works. But I did a lot of taking apart. But in in a you know, I know this thing so much better. Here, I'll take off. That's mostly this air uh, that's making the noise. But I know much more about working on a K40 now. I already had some knowledge of lasers and I've talked about this before. If you learn how to fix and work on a K40, you're gonna be able to know how to work on all the upgraded machines. You know, you got a 80 watt, 100 watt, 150 watt. They're all basically the same, just larger and much better parts. So working with this kind of mirror here, adjustment could be very difficult. In fact, they got to tighten this back down. It's not really that great. And the same thing for this adjustment up here. But uh, once you get onto the higher end machines, you get a lot more fine tuned adjustments. So if you can learn how to do it on this, you're gonna be way ahead of the game. So it is a really great first laser if you're, you know that you're going to go up to a higher power later, laser later. It will also be very useful at all times. Say you're working on your big laser, you're making some big sign, and then uh, you need to put out some keychains. Well, you could just throw the keychains on here and just do all your keychains while you're still running your big job. So it is super useful 
at all times. This happens to be the Mon port. I've told you guys about that before. Uh, I think it is the most complete K40, uh, you know, on the market because it is Lightburn compatible. I just used Lightburn like in a snap, as you can see here, to create just little things that I pushed around. I plugged it in, you know, I already had the bed set up. It just worked right away, first time, bam, done. So it's, I love that because I, I only work in Lightburn. So having that already done, I put my air assist through this uh, chain guide here and it, it works fine just right in. So minimal amount of uh, upgrades, although and many of them aren't necessary. They're just what I wanted to do. I wanted the bigger mirrors. I wanted the upgraded mirrors. I wanted the air assist totally plugged in, even though I like to make my own. I think in this case, it's just fine to have it, uh, have it here. It, it knocks out any chance or real chances of fire. Just made me feel comfortable. You can see my other videos on the Monport and uh, other things, you know, with the cooling system that I upgraded and some of the other things that I've done, you know, with the monitoring. And I've got a, now when I take this back outside, you know, I'll put my water flow back on. But I really just wanted to make sure that I had got it, this laser going again and that it was ready to make some stuff. And so I'm very happy about that. You know, I like my Ortur Laser Master 3, but it is a diode laser. It is a 10 watt. And I like to do acrylic sometimes. And it, I just need more power sometimes when you want to make sure that you get the job done the first time and that it cuts all the way through. And sometimes when you're cutting, you're doing three or four passes on a, on a diode laser. It gets pretty iffy sometimes. So... These are the things that I've gotten here. I don't have any affiliate links or anything like that, but if you do have questions on what I got, I did end up buying the scissor jack. So what I'm going to do is permanently mount this plate onto the bottom of the, not permanently, but semi-permanently onto the scissor jack. And then I'll probably just magnetically try and put a magnet underneath the, uh, the plate to hold this in, in one spot. I don't know. We'll just think about best ways to do that so that I can take this out if I want to, but I want it to be pretty sturdy when I, when I leave it in. Uh, also should probably put some sort of extension on here that comes outside. I've seen somebody do that before. That looked like a great idea. And then you can adjust it from the outside here. Um, yeah, overall, it's just a lot of fun working with these uh, K40s and learning how lasers work. And it's not that difficult. I mean, I'm sure people that work on 3D printers, you know, will have no trouble on this because 3D printers are just a lot more finicky. But when you get a K40, realize you may have to do a little work. That's just even, you know, Monport, Ohm Tech, whichever one you get, you may get one that works perfectly right out of the box. You may not. And so prepare to do some of your own things. Not nice thing about Monport is they do have a good tech support, which happens to be, I don't know if it still is, but it was Louisiana hobby guy. So you're working with somebody who definitely understands lasers, who speaks English, who can definitely tell you things that you need to know. And he, he's working on them himself and you can go to his channel and also learn about this exact machine. So I do have a link uh, that you can get a discount on the Monport. Uh, I, you know, it seemed like a no brainer for me because I was going to get one anyway. And I haven't seen any other ones that come for this price with Lightburn and all the other little things that this comes with that just, you know, if I found one that came with more stuff I wanted, then uh, yeah, I might go with that. But this one seems to have the basics of what I want. It was fairly easy to upgrade and uh, cool, you know. Looking forward to kicking out some acrylic here soon. I've been making lots of really great projects. I will fill you guys in. Of course, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. If you love lasers, diodes, CO2s, 
from K40 to 150, you know, I'm going to be doing all kinds of stuff. So as you could tell, I'm a bit excited because I love it when everything comes together and I will see you soon making more stuff with the Mon port.